Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to today's video and welcome to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyla. I'm so excited to have you here. Don't forget to subscribe because I put out free content every single week about affiliate marketing, funnels, making money online, and all that good stuff. And in today's video, we're gonna be diving in and I'm gonna show you how to make your ClickFunnels funnel mobile friendly. It's funnel building time. While it is still really important to have the desktop looking great and working great, it is just as important to have your sales funnel work properly when someone pulls it up on their cell phone. So if that is something you're interested in, then let's dive into the video. Okay, so I'm here in my ClickFunnels account and I have just pulled up my funnel that I'm gonna be showing you guys. I'm gonna go in here and click on edit page. And now that that's loaded up, I'm gonna then come up here to the top left and you can see here there's a little computer icon and a little phone icon. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on mobile. And this will now take you to what your funnel will look like in mobile view. So to start out, I wanna show you how you can add an image, okay? So if you go here and click on add new element, we're then gonna scroll down and select image. And then to add an image into here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the little gear icon, which is the settings, and click on this image picture right here. And then it's gonna pull up all of my uploaded images. Now, you, if you don't have any images uploaded that you wanna use, you can do that by simply dragging and dropping or clicking to upload but I have a picture here that I already want to use to show you guys. And this is just a funnel I built practicing my skills. Sushi Up is a local restaurant by where I live. And so I just built a funnel to sharpen my skills. So there you guys can see the image is there in the funnel. And in the settings, I can also adjust the top margins. So how close or how far away it is from the thing above it. So you can adjust that there and um, add a couple other things in here as well. If you want to make the image smaller, I would go in here to image width and then just adjust it um, by typing in numbers. At a certain point, it's not gonna be able to make it any bigger than the image is, but you can work on adjusting it and making it smaller. Now, to add in a button, making sure you know these are three buttons here. If I wanna add in a button, I'm gonna go ahead and again, add a new element, which are the orange bordered ones can't talk and I'm gonna go down here and click on button and then in here I have the font I or the text I want to use by my sushi and I can go down here and change the color of that button so I can make it red now here's something that is important so you have the button text and then you also have subtext by me by clicking. So you can see text shows up underneath the main text. So I can adjust the font size here. And since I'm working exclusively in mobile, uh, it's not really a problem, but if I want to switch over into my desktop, so if I go back up here and click on the computer icon, you can see I want the font to be smaller here on the desktop. So let's say I move it and make it 24 font size on my desktop. But on the mobile, for me, it's just a little too small. So what you can do is again, go into the settings of the button by clicking on the gear icon. And instead of messing with the font size, you can actually go and edit the mobile size. So by clicking on here, I can change the font to, that's 18 pixels, I can go up here to 26 or 29. I just wanna make it a little bit bigger than the font on my desktop. So that's one way you can do that there and you can also do that with the subtext. So if I wanted the subtext bigger on my mobile version, I would go in here and again, instead of messing with the font slide bar for the subtext size, I would go to mobile sub size and then you can edit it there. Now, if we wanted to add text, again, this is gonna be an element. I'm gonna add a headline and then you can simply add in text by 
typing or copying and pasting. We'll just do something random. So there you go. You can add in the font there. You can either make it unbold or bold. You can italicize it. You can underline it. You can also change the font. So by doing that, I go in here and can select the font that I want. I can also change the color of this. So the reason why I'm using text color is because this text is not bolded. So if it was, I would go in here and collect, click bold color. You can also do this by, if you wanna make a word really stand out, you can go in and bold. Oh, all of it's bolded. So if I wanted to unbold this, what I would go in and do is click on here and if I want the bold color to be different and I want that word to really stand out, I could do something like that. So that's how you add text. And again, if you want to adjust the size of this text different from your desktop version, you're gonna do that by editing mobile size and not using the font size slider. So that is how you do that. Now, another thing too that I want to make sure you guys know is on your sales funnels, you can add a pop-up. So if I click on either show pop-up or edit, edit settings, here's a little pop-up that I've created. Now, but let's say you wanna see what this pop-up looks like in the mobile version. So to do that, I have the pop-up open and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on mobile and it's gonna show me what the pop-up looks like in the mobile version. So this button is a little big. So I liked how it looked on my desktop version, but for the mobile, I want to make it a little smaller. And I want it, I don't want discount to be on the second line. So that looks to me a lot better. And I just edited the mobile size versus affecting how it looks on the desktop. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and save that. Now, one last thing I wanna make sure you guys know is let's say you wanted this text right here only to show up on the mobile version. So if someone were to pull this funnel up on their computer, they would not see this text, but on the phone, they would see it. So to do that, you can either do this from the desktop or the mobile version. So if I'm in desktop, I go in here to the elements settings, which is again, this gear icon, and down here, at the very bottom, you can see I can either make it mobile only or desktop only. So if I were to click this mobile only, it would switch me over to the mobile version. And now there's this red border around that says mobile only. Now you are only, you are going to be able to see that. So you can only see that in edit mode. Once you preview it and people are accessing your funnel, they will not see this red border, but now it's only showing up in my mobile. So if I go over to my desktop, the text is not there. And let's say I was in mobile and I wanted to only make this desktop. So I could click desktop only, and again, it's gonna move it, and it only shows up in desktop and not in mobile. I found this works really well. Let's say I have an image I wanna use, but the way I've placed it on the desktop looks terrible for the mobile. So I'll make the image desktop only and then I'll duplicate that same image in my mobile version and adjust the layout there. So that's a really, really helpful feature and you can make basically anything, whether it's a row or a section or an element, you can all make those desktop or mobile friendly only and you do that by going into the settings, going down here to the bottom and clicking on desktop or mobile only. So there you guys go. I hope this helped you guys out with building your funnels. Making sure your funnels are mobile optimized is so important and it's something people can forget really easily. But just by knowing those simple steps about how to edit the font size without it affecting your desktop version or the image or making it only mobile or desktop, those are all super important and can increase how the sales you make, increase the leads you get because you are mobile optimized. If you guys like this video, if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye dudes.